Hey folks, Mac T here, and before we get to this uh, crank up of uh, Herbie, just wanted to clarify a few things that we're dealing with with the PCM. Now this PCM on this Duratec uh, for the 2011 Ford Edge is an SCT tuned 87 tune on the PCM. It is not a factory uh, PCM at this point. So there was a little doubt on it and uh, everything in this uh, PCM said it was a 3.5 that was hooked up to it. It did not recognize a 3.7 at all. So when we went to go start or attempt to start or whatever is going to happen, you know, just keep that in mind that this PCM is not uh, programmed for 3.7 Duratec. So, you know, we were sort of throwing our faith in the wind that uh, everything would be all right. And uh, we wanted to make sure, but hey, you know, you never know till you turn the key. So uh, I want to thank Jeff for all his support on this project because uh, really without him, a lot of this would not have happened. And uh, I'm, I'm just uh, so grateful to what he's done with me on Herbie. Uh, you guys just can't imagine. But, hey, let's get on to the video and see if Herbie starts, what happens when Herbie starts, and uh, we'll go from there because, hey, the whole goal of this was to prove that a direct swap can work, and we want to see if it does. So, let's go to the startup process and see what happens. Here we go, folks. We're going to go ahead and try to crank Herbie over. Uh, Mercedes? Go on, get in your Herbie, turn the key on, and then try to start it. Remember, you don't have to hold the key. Just flick it, and it will crank by itself. Just flick it. Ah! <laughs> Go ahead and put the key in the ignition. Turn it. Let go. Were you holding the key? Okay. Yeah, give it a second. Do we want to see if we're getting oil moving around? Gee, why are you cranking it? Why are you doing that? Okay, try it again. Oh, just like this? Yep, wait. just flick it and let it run. Wait, just... Put some oil on that. Well, we dumped oil in there, though, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, you gotta keep going. Jeff, Jeff. Yes. Jeff, something is dropping. Something Transmission oh. fluid. Transmission fluid. Out of Loretta, right, your, your hose. Yes, Loretta said. Oh, yeah. Well, we do know that the transmission pump works. <laughs> it's for sure. That's for sure. The transmission oh, pump works. It, does it work. is bleeding, Jeff. Oh, no. Herbie's bleeding. bleeding. Oh, no. oh my God. <laughs> well, the, yeah, turn the key off. Turn the off. easiest way to determine if the transmission <clears throat> pump does work mm -hmm. is to leave the line disconnected. Right. And then you can verify that the transmission pump does work. <laughs> yeah. I gotta get some rags that help clean up. Okay. Nothing? No leaks. No leaks. Still don't see any oil coming through. It's gotta be pumping Fitter out. Again. Again. My chains are turning. I see oil right there. It's How going off, it's going you know off that, that ring right there on the, on the cam. Do it again, Mercedes. See? 
that that didn't have oil on it like that before. Okay. Well, I mean, by now, to be honest, this engine should be pressurized. Don't you think? I was hoping we'd see some oil someplace. Yeah. Do it a few more Again. times. Again. I'm starting to see more oil coming out. Yeah. Do it again. Yeah, there's, see there's more oil on that flat. Mm -hmm. I think there's more building up. Just a second, I'm going to touch the starter, so don't electrocute me. Is it hot? It's warm, but... Okay, again. I'll do a couple more times and button her up and yeah. One more time. Last time. Yeah, that end of the cam's got oil all over it. Okay, that's good. Take the key out. We're gonna give it a rest. Take the key out. Take no, the no, key no. out, all the way out. Yep, yep. Is the radio on? It will be. That's one of the things that the programming needs to fix. You can take it. Open the door. Is it on now? Turn it off. Push the button on, on it to turn it off. There's a big, big button in the middle that says off. Just shut the door. No, get out and shut the door. <laughs> or you can just stay there. Stay there and take a nap, whatever. Okay, folks. We got everything back together. We got the uh, big AGM in there. We got the intake hooked up. We borrowed this tube from uh, another edge. We won't say which one. <laughs> but uh, we ran it uh, at least 10 times. Just cranking it, PCM's plugged in. Everything is plugged in. We should have no leaks because we cranked it and had no leaks on the transmission. So everything is good. Coolant's full, engine oil's full, transmission is full. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and uh, give it its first crank start because we have everything ready to go. And right now, Jeff and I are both shaking like a leaf because this has been a lot of work for over four months and uh, and this thing has an 87 SCT tune on it okay it is not the standard factory uh, PCM settings so we're, we're waiting for that you know but it shouldn't affect it too much the PCM should be able to adjust but keep in mind this is all new and uh, we we expect a stumble, don't we? No. Maybe? Nope. No stumble? Well, I'm going to stop and pray to my God and, you know, let's just say we got lots of people with a lot of faith here. So we're going to go ahead and start it in just a minute. Hold on, don't you do it yet. There's a Shelby back here, too, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Keep your foot on the brake. <laughs> no, no, actually, don't. No. We don't have this caliper. It's in park. It won't be any problem. It won't start if it's not in park, so it can't move. Mercedes, put the key in the ignition. Don't turn it yet. Three, two, one, crank.
No fluids. Wow. That means the system's working. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I mean, how do you face it? How do you face it? How do you face it? Look at this, folks. Smooth. It idled down. It's idling smooth. Listen to this engine. Thank you, God. Great to move. Wow. Let's see if we got oil. We have oil. Oh, look at it. Everywhere. Yay. I mean, everywhere it's supposed to be. Can't really see it. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm going to make it run even smoother. We have a vacuum line off. Oh, we got oil flowing everywhere in there, folks. Yeah. See it? Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. See the oil? Mm -hmm. We got oil going. Yeah. Rev it a little bit. It's, uh, it's just smoking, that's normal. Smoking coming from here. Yeah, it's a new engine. It's just smoking a little bit, that's normal. Oh, yes. I uh, put some anti-seas on the exhaust nuts and bolts. It's probably going to burn it off. I use that. New engines Copper always smoke. Stuff. Yeah. Look at that. Let's go listen to the rear exhaust. Let's check out the rear exhaust. What do you think, Mercedes? <laughs> you got a car that runs, don't you? Did we do a good job? Mm -hmm. You say Jeff and Bill, your dad, did a good job? Yeah, you guys did a good job. All right. Listen to that exhaust. No misses. No misses, folks. No misses on the exhaust. The cats are working because it fogged the camera up. That is smooth, folks. That is smooth. Check that bumper out, too. Freshly painted. Looks really good. We got lights. You got low tires? You need an oil change? Check this out. Any leaks? No leaks, folks. We're just burning off a little bit of the... Actually, it seems like it's coming off of where we put that sensor, see? Yeah, it's coming right off of that. Part of that. Yep. And so see we put on those. Yep, it's on the oxygen sensors. But that is a smooth running engine, even with the tune. So this is put down here by the pulley. Where the water pump area is. Silent. Listen to that, how quiet this is, folks. That is remarkable. All you hear is the injector ticks. That is outstanding. We did it. We did it. There they are. What do you think, Jeff? Hey, job well done. <laughs> now we just got to work on the drive shaft. Yeah. Then yeah, we can actually put it in gear and start moving it. Uh -huh. Well, folks. Folks, hey, Herbie's running. And that's what we were aiming for. So uh, thank you, Jeff, so much for everything. And... Uh, we got a few things to tidy up, but it's not going to be long before Herbie's on the road. 
if I ever get that uh, title figured out. But anyway, we'll get there. But uh, for now, we're going to go ahead and uh, do a few test runs. But I do want to hear a short rev on it. What do you think, Jeff? Pardon? A little quick rev. Put it up once. Just a little, not all the way to the floor. Just rev it up to about two or 3,000 RPM. Just room real quick. There you go. She'll rev. And that exhaust sounds... Sounds good. One more just... Oh. There we go. All right. Anyway, we'll let the let the smoky smokies burn off, and then uh, we'll be able to get a fine tune on it here once we uh, get it running fully. But it does idle, so that's half the battle. All righty, folks. If there ever was a doubt, check that out. Herbie lives. Herbie lives, folks. It's a great day. I'll post the actual video of the first start, but I can tell you, it was beautiful. All right, folks, you know you did something right when the only thing you have is a low tire light when you changed out an entire engine and transmission and you have zero check engine lights on. This is what it is, right here. And we know the tires are bad, so we're not worried about that. But we have zero DTCs. Everything is good.